you briefly about which protocols may be better for frozen embryo replacement. Now, this paper is quite a nice paper, and that's what we'll base it on. And where, what did it use is they compared letrozole with ovulation induction, using it for a frozen replacement, programmed frozen replacement, and natural. And let's see what it said. This was quite a good paper, and where they used either giving estrogen valerate along with intramuscular progesterone as a frozen replacement treatment or a natural cycle or using letrozole, five milligram from day three to day seven and doing LH levels. The protocol followed with letrozole was to do daily LH blood levels. Remember, urine levels do not go very well in this protocol. Daily blood levels, and I believe in my practice, I would use it between once follicle reaches 14 millimeter. And then six days later, they did a transfer after a LH surge. Now, what you notice is that the early pregnancy loss rate was the highest in the programmed protocol at 17.2% compared that to letrozole was 11.5% and nature was 10%. So they also started looking at overall pregnancy rates and they did calculations based on the variability and they looked at the letrozole having an ongoing pregnancy rate of 63.6 percent the programmed activity at 55.7 and nature at 59.9 so when they also looked at clinical losses they seem to be very much similar now in ovulatory women women who are having regular ovulatory cycles again letrozole surprisingly did better at 67% ongoing pregnancy compared to 55% with programmed and 59.7% with uh, the uh, natural based. When you looked at anovulation, programmed act treatments and letrozole did very, very similar. Now, Clearly, there is an indication that letrozole seems to give a much higher pregnancy, though it's important to realize that you're going to invest a large amount of time and effort for you and the patient to go and do regular LH levels. Now, why is it that nature and letrozole may do better? Well, having an intact corpus luteum has its benefit. It's not only progesterone that has its benefits. So what does the corpus luteum also do? It includes produce, production of relaxin and production, production of va vascular endothelial factor. What does relaxin do? It increases the growth fact, other growth factors that may help in angiogenic factors which help in better implantation. And that's something which we forget in, in a programmed cycle. Also in a program cycle, there are reports coming up and when you continue estrogen progesterone, the rate of pregnancy induced hypertension may be slightly higher at 15.3% as one of the studies said. Now, once again, the question comes up is why in letrozole would the ongoing pregnancy be higher? Let's look at what letrozole does, reduces peripheral estrogen. So possibly occult endometriosis or inflammation which relies on the uh, estrogen being high tends to be subdued. And so you're looking at that information going down. Second, with low serum estrogen and low intra ovarian estrogen levels in letrozole uh, ovulation induction, it leads to upregulation of estrogen receptors. So what happens is it increases sensitivity to estrogen receptors, makes the endometrium more vascular and beneficial for implantation. And that may be the reason how letrozole is helping. Now, I'll tell you my experience. And I'll say if the program cycle doesn't give you a good endometrium, I'll abandon it. And I often move to a letrozole cycle where the endometrium completely changes. Try it out in some of your cases and uh, you will see. So... You know, one of the benefits of this study is that it helps us to take a step back and look at 
Do we start moving closer to nature? Do we still make use of the corpus luteum? In anovulatory women, you just can't do a natural cycle. So do you make use of using uh, letrozole as a treatment? And maybe in those cases, rather than using a programmed cycle. But remember, you are going to put in extra efforts. You're going to make the patient come in for more blood levels. And that is going to significantly increase the amount of visits that this patient is going to have. But at the end, you may be using nature to give it